One of the most critical challenges we face in cell culture is replicating in vivo conditions. And when you're selecting the right culture wear, the surface you choose is crucial to achieving predictable quality results. Yes, monolayer cultures may be widely used, but they don't always mimic the physiological environment in vivo. To achieve this, think in three dimensions. 3D culture can enable the spontaneous aggregation of cells into spheroids, which comes closest to the in vivo conditions for certain applications. For example, in cancer research, spheroids are powerful tools for examining tumor progression or conducting drug screening due to the spheroid's hypoxic core that results in greater chemoresistance. And in stem cells, spheroids are used for developing embryoid bodies and in studying regenerative medicine and developmental disorders. So how do you evaluate the best culture surface for your work? Consider your cell as an application and ask yourself these questions. First, what are the adhesion properties of my cell line? And second, do I want my cells to grow in suspension or do they need an inherent surface? Depending on your answers, you may wish to consider growing spheroid cultures using an extremely low binding surface.